Hello folks, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to set up Power Automate approval process on Teams channel documents. So stay tuned and let's go to the demo after this short intro. I'm inside Microsoft Teams desktop application. First thing I will do is I will create a team and then I will create a channel. And then once the channel is created, I will create a workflow using Power Automate on that channel. So if someone upload a document in that channel, it should go through the approval process. So to create a team, I will click on join or create team. I will select the option from scratch and then I will make it public. I will give it a name for this team. I will just call it Project Contoso create now I can add other members to the team but I will skip that step for now now it automatically creates a general channel here so if I go to this teams and go to manage team I can see myself listed as an owner and I can add other members or owner for this team what I will do is I will create another channel in this team so I'll click on the three ellipses and I will click add channel. I will just give a channel name project documents and I will keep the privacy as standard. Now we'll click on add. Now you can see there are two channels already created for project Contoso team. So if I go to the document channel and go to files, this is where I want to upload the project document. But for the each document, I want to start an approval process. So it can be uh, your manager or the team owners or whoever want to approve this document if someone upload or create a new document here so from the top right hand side if i click on open in sharepoint every time you create a team it actually creates a sharepoint site underneath it and there will be a default document library for the team. So if I go back to the documents, now you can see there are two folders here. There's a general folder and project document folder. So for each channel inside the team, it will just create a relevant folder in SharePoint as well. So we want to create a Power Automate flow on this folder. So whenever someone put a document in this folder, it start the Power Automate approval process. So if the document is approved or rejected, so we need to show that status column in the teams as well. So we can create that column in SharePoint and it will be appeared in the team as well. So if I click on add column and I will say choice column, I'll just give it a name status column. And the first choice I will say approved and the second choice I will say rejected. I will change the color for approved to green and rejected to orange. Okay, and I will click save and the default value is none. So if I now go to project documents folder, we can see that status column here and we can update this column via the workflow. And now if I go back to the teams and go to a different channel and come back to project document and files, I can see the status column appearing here as well. So the next step is I want to create Power Automate workflow. So to do that, I navigate to Office 365. From the left hand menu, I click on Power Automate icon. Now from the left hand menu, I will click on create. I will select automated flow because as soon as a document is uploaded into that channel folder, I want to initiate the flow. So I will select automated flow. I will just give flow a name, just call it project document approval. So the trigger for this flow is when a file is created on SharePoint properties only. So I will select that, click on create. Now it is asking me which SharePoint site that file reside so I need to navigate back to the Contoso project Contoso site so I will take the link just to the Contoso site not to the document library or the folder and I will come back here and I will enter a custom value click on custom value and I paste the site URL here and now it is showing me the document library in there so I select that and in terms of folder I need to look into the shared document library and I'm interested in project documents folders. So only initiate the workflow if someone uploading a document in project documents channel. In this case, project document folder in SharePoint document library. So I will select project document. Now the next step is you need to start an approval process. So for this demo, what I will do is I will get my manager name and then I will start the approval process for my manager. So I will click on next step. I will say get manager and then I need to provide the email address so we can say whoever created this record created by email that person manager it needs to retrieve okay so that's done next step is going to be start an approval process so I will click on next step and the action we wanted start and wait for an approval 
I will just keep it really simple, out of the box, approve and reject first to respond. And the title will be document approval and assigned to is going to be this person email address. So your manager email address in this case. And the detail, you can put as much detail you want. And the link to the item, I will put link to the record here, link to the document. And the link description, I will select the name of the document. So if I scroll down, the file name I will use as a link to description. Okay, so that's done. The next step is we want to see the outcome of this approval process. So if it is approved, we want to update the status column with approved. If rejected, we want to update the status column with rejected. So if I click on new step, we need a condition control and the condition will be the outcome column from the previous approval step if it is equal to approve. So if it is approved, then run this, otherwise run this. So if it is approved, then we are updating the record. So we're going to update file properties of SharePoint action. So we'll select that. And then again, the site address is going to be that custom site address. Okay. And then the document library is going to be this document library. And this ID is going to be the unique ID from very first step when an item was created. So we'll select the ID there. Now we need to provide the status value. So in this case, it is going to be approved. And then we add an action here. So this is going to be the same action, update file properties. And then I will put the same site address here as well. So enter custom value. And then I will select documents and then the ID of the record when it was created. And this time the status value is going to be rejected. Okay, so we have done with this workflow now. So I will save this workflow. So when a file is created in that folder, which is our channel folder, I'm getting the person who uploaded a file, his manager email and start an approval process for the manager. And if the person approve it, then I'm updating the status of that document to approve. Otherwise, I'm updating the status of that document to reject it. Okay, so I will click on save. So now to test this workflow, what I will do is I will upload a document in this channel file tab. So I will just drag a document here is the PDF report. So the document is uploaded. Now the approval process will start soon. If I go back to the main page of this approval. Now the approval process started if I click on the detail. So it started and waiting for an approval. So because in my tenant, I put myself as my manager. So I will go to my Outlook to approve this task. So you can see that there's a new task created. So there's a link to the annual report. If I click on it, it will open that document and it is opening the document from the Contoso Teams shared document library under that channel folder. So I can review the document and I can just approve it here and submit. Now this will complete the workflow process and the condition will met that it is approved and it update the status value to approved. Now, if I go back to the teams and if I just refresh this tab, so it will reload the tab. Now you can see that the status of this document is approved. So just to wrap up this video, today you have learned how to set up Power Automate approval process on Microsoft Teams channel documents. Thank you for watching this video. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel by pressing the red subscribe button below this video and click the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos as I upload new videos every week. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. If you have any question regarding this topic or any other query related to Office 365, put in the comment section below. I review my comments on a daily basis. I will be happy to answer. Thank you.